Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Love for Intuitive Astrology. My name is Michelle and today I will talk about the month of October 2022 for the sign of Aries. So I recommend you to watch this video if you have your sun, your moon or your rising sign in Aries. So Aries, we have a new month ahead with a lot of changes, okay? We're going to have a full moon in Aries. Uh, we're going to have Mars retrograde by the end of the month. I made a video about that separately, so I recommend you to watch that. Um, we have uh, a new moon in Scorpio, which is a partial solar eclipse. Uh, Pluto is stationing retrograde. Mercury is stationing direct at the beginning of the month. So we have so much going on, okay? So we're starting this month off with uh, the Sun and Venus together in the sign of Libra. And Venus loves to be in the sign of Libra because, you know, it's in its own sign. So Venus rules two signs. It rules Libra and it rules Taurus. And for you, Aries, um, Venus and the Sun will start off in your seventh house, okay? So there will be a little bit of a touch of romance, okay? There will be a lot of emphasis on relationships. So maybe you want to spend more time with your partner. Maybe, uh, you know, you have this feeling this crave to meet someone new and on the 2nd of October um, Mercury is stationing direct so um, you know the whole X thing <laughs> will be quiet for a while until we have Mars retrograde we'll again probably have to deal with either people from the past uh, unresolved karma from the past you know um, this is a lot of times when we get like lessons from the past back to see if we really learned our lesson or if we have some unfinished business okay um so we have this full moon in um areas in your sign on the 9th of october and you know we have a conjunction with chiron and chiron is in your first house so areas um, for a long time, you have been challenged with, you know, your identity, like who you really are. And it could be that for a long time, you felt a bit ashamed of your true identity. But then, you know, we have Jupiter backing up uh, Chiron in your first house and this full moon we also have in your first house it's conjuncting Chiron so there is a major opportunity for healing so healing the self um, like really showing up for yourself as well and it also is a healing of you as a person in relationships so maybe you've been overly giving in relationships maybe you weren't giving enough in relationships so these subjects will come up at the same time pluto is stationing direct and it's happening on the 8th of october in your 10th house so definitely matters of work are coming up um you feel like you have your inner power back you feel like things are in your control again when it comes to work right and for most of the month we also have mars squaring neptune so like i said this month has a lot of things going on a lot of movements in the sky right we also have uh, jupiter going back in the sign of pisces so we started with jupiter in your sign right with this full moon and then if I say it correctly, on the 29th of uh, October, it will go back into Pisces. So you will feel that your spiritual insights, your downloads will be elevated. So yeah, going back to this full moon in Aries, you will have a huge chance of healing your identity, healing your relationships, 
uh, feeling more empowered to work hard for, for your job. You have Mars in your third house, so you might feel very drawn to study. But like I said, we have a square with Neptune. And that means that uh, Mars is going to be dissolved. So Neptune dissolves everything it's in connection with, right? So uh, there is some tension. So there are going to be some tensions like you want to maybe study but you can't focus right so mars is like i'm going to get for what I, uh, i'm going to chase what i want and then it's becoming very foggy so energies are going to be a bit lower and this is pretty bad because later on we're gonna have mercury um we're gonna have mars retrograde right uh but i don't want you to worry about it right um the best way to tune into your Mars is true meditation, uh, true like spiritual activities or sports like martial arts, like yoga, meditation. This is how you can channel your energy and really listen to what you need to do next. We also have a, a new moon, like I said, in Scorpio, which is triggering a lot of interesting events right it's a partial solar eclipse because with the moon we have a solar eclipse and then uh we have the lunar eclipse um during the full moon um and that means that we're gonna have a sense of a new destiny being triggered and scorpio for you is in your eighth house so this is other people's money, joint bank accounts. This is loans, okay? So you might be able to pay off your loans or maybe you're starting a new loan, right? Um, you're making a plan on how to pay off debts. Uh, you're maybe closing down because the south node is in the eighth house. So it's more about the closure, even though it's a new moon, which is a beginning, it's a new beginning after a closure of something okay so it could be that you know you're working with an inheritance or someone that has gone or transitioned to the other side okay um i'm sorry if that did or does happen to you um and you need to arrange some new things right to maybe the money uh, maybe you need to divide the house the, and everything. So you need to get stuff in order. So I'm not saying that this will happen, okay? So I never want you to be afraid because destiny, uh, everything is kind of predestined. So there, we never have any control and you can definitely not manifest it, okay? So this is already <laughs> kind of predestined. Uh, uh, so definitely a shift in finances because your north node is with the Uranus in the second house. So money comes in, goes out. It's a little bit unpredictable. So especially if you're a self-employed areas, you probably see that like money goes, money comes, money goes, money comes. So it's, it's confusing. At the same time, uh, the eighth house is also like the psychology of things like shredding skin and cycles. So you're probably have been diving really deep in your psyche. So you could release a lot of um, old patterns and old habits and you're ready to go more into stability, right? So maybe you used to think very negative about money. Um, or about i don't know your your ex maybe he dragged you or she dragged you into court and you're ready to let go so there is a major movement happening at the same time we have a lot of squares during this new moon we have a uh, pluto square moon we have uh, sun square pluto and venus and and mercury so a lot of secrets are going to be exposed this month um on a global level i believe they're gonna expose a lot of secrets <laughs> like uh there's a lot of 
deceit, a lot of dishonesty, and it's going to be revealed. So that's why we have the Mars, Neptune, the deceit, and then we have the truth needs to come to the surface, right? So Pluto for you is in your 10th house, and you know, we have this new moon in your 8th house. So it, there are going to be a lot of truths, secrets coming out. And with the 8th house, it's kind of um, unpredictable, right? So maybe there are going to be secrets revealed. Tower, it's like, how did you get into depth? Maybe there, there was some mistake. Or maybe, you know, um, at work, like someone said something behind your back so you will get a lot of information on what is truly happening behind the scenes because pluto will expose everything um so i have these tea leaf cards and i want to give you three areas i want to give you three cards so yeah it's really hard to explain what is going on in one month but i'm telling you it's going to be a lot of changes in your personal life right um it could be actually that you might change jobs even um yeah and this new uh, salary that you're getting is helping you save money maybe you're opening a bank account where like a separate bank account to save money okay so i said three but four came out persevere and you will overcome your problems so that's what i felt like like you've been on a really long journey of you know you had a lot of heavy weight on your back um, and you know your personal situation but definitely you had a lot of weight to carry so you've been like it felt really heavy for you problems to be resolved i love this areas look at that so i know they're in reverse <laughs> um I, i'm just gonna but i'm gonna read it for you okay so yeah there is going to be the problem is going to be resolved because the secrets right it's an ink pot the ink is gonna like drop it's gonna show itself and the truth will come out unsettled times need to plan ahead so yeah it might feel a bit unsettling right because there will be a lot of things happening at the same time um and you're gonna be like whoa what what am i you feel almost a little bit like losing control right with so many planets there in the eighth house um maybe you meet someone new and that could also be why you feel like losing control because we're starting off the month in libra venus and the sun in libra so there could be someone new for the ones that are single um and you feel really unsettling because you need to like eighth house is opening up it's intimacy you need to share your intimacy with someone new an arrogant, boastful person you should not cross. So it could be that there will be some enemies revealing themselves to you. Like I said, some secrets will be revealed. And maybe it's not it's not pretty, right? Uh, sometimes we, we want people to be pure and beautiful. But, you know, maybe they're not there yet on their journey. Or maybe they're pure and beautiful with other people. It's just um jealousy is something that happens to everyone at some point but it is how are you dealing with that jealousy right how are you gonna um deal with it yeah so okay i'm getting two cards i felt called to get these two so there is a new book opening for you and for me this is also like a bridge you're going to overcome so you're going from one cycle to the next so you're releasing a lot of like i feel that you are also going to open up your your worth your self-worth and this is will be shown in your money uh in your work so you're gonna feel like you deserve so much more and you're gonna feel so much better and so much lighter you're gonna let go of a lot of baggage 
and I have this cute little heart card. So for my lovebird areas, right? There is also a major healing taking place this month, right? With this full moon in areas, you can really heal a lot of inner woundings towards relationships. So I want to add a little card to this month. Alrighty, righty, righty. Ooh, definitely. I'm getting um, Sacred Union. So it says, honor and treasure your relationship, for it is truly sacred. So you will feel if you're with the right person, if you're already in a relationship, right? Um, a union is sacred between two people. And, you know, it's really important to treasure the love that you have with this person and tell them you truly appreciate them because sometimes we forget to appreciate the person that's really right next to us. Um, if you're single, I would open, like, open your eyes, look around you. I'm getting friendship. So it could be a friendship that's turning into something more. So nurture the bonds of friendship within your relationship and your love life will dramatically improve. So being friends first is actually the best way to get to know someone because I mean, sexuality is great, right? Like um, having that connection and the chemistry is important, but you also have to be best friends and know how to talk to each other like being really excited to share certain information with one another so yeah six of swords you're leaving a certain situation let me know in the comments below what it is that you're leaving right now i'm really curious to to hear uh what is going on in your life areas yeah so this is my message for you if you like this video subscribe to my channel um so i know you want to see many more of these videos uh also always let me know about ideas of videos you want me to make because this youtube channel is here for you and to help you heal and become the best version of yourself because we all have this you know and especially you, Aries, you have such a big opportunity for healing, right? Spiritual healing in this month is going to be insane. You're gonna, like, I, I see you, like, you're gonna be so much lighter. Like, everything will just, like, drop. Yeah, maybe, maybe I will do a meditation video this month, uh, next month, because I think that will be very helpful. But anyways, thank you so much for your love your support, your likes, your donations. I'm, I'm so truly grateful for all the warmth and I feel very blessed and I bless you as well from the bottom of my heart. Bye.